fishtanktv.com and YouTube. Uh, check this out. Um, it's been a while for me since I made a video. Um, there's a few reasons why, but anyways, that's not really important. Okay, so check this out. Um, there's a few things that have changed uh, since my last video. First of all, um, my filter and my UV sterilizer, one of my filters and my UV sterilizers, um, they're no uh, plugged in right now. My Fruba 404, I decided I'm going to take it off because um, I couldn't stop. Uh, after I did a water change about last week or the week before, don't remember exactly, uh, it kept leaking. And so I went and get a, another O-ring or, or whatever it's called and it wouldn't stop leaking. So I got really tired and annoyed, so I unplugged it, and since then, it hasn't been on. Um, the other thing that I did is I took off most of the ductwork. Um, there's only a couple of fluiders there, because I decided to keep most of the, uh, uh, the um, dwarf water lettuce, and uh, take out um, most of the ductwork, the uh, Salvina and Frog Span or Frog Big, whatever it's called. Um, because it was blocking, like, it grew so fast and so quick, it was almost blocking the whole, the whole side of the tank. No light was penetrating. So when I got tired of it, so I took it out. And, um, and another thing that I did, I got some Gloso that I planted there. And, because, uh, because I didn't take out the dog pretty was kind of dying, but now it's coming back. This plant right here, um, it was dying due to the light, and now it's coming back again. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, um, I trimmed, uh, I just trimmed most of the, tried to keep it at the same, uh, same height, my, um, my dwarf grass, I mean my dwarf grass, my dwarf sedge. Um, and what I'm planning on doing is as soon as the Glosso starts taking up and it starts covering this area, I'm going to get more Glosso and put it there. Because I don't like this, it gets really tall. Um, another thing that I found out is that my Rotella Indica actually has grown a, a lot. Like, most of it, it looks like... Let me see if I can close up like that little piece, but now it's all, all looking really good. Um, now let's move to this side. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm getting this green slime kind of um, algae on my plant and on some parts of the bottom of the tank. And what I do is just um, try to remove it by hand. I'm sorry, my finger was in the camera. So let's check this out. Um, right there, and all over this plant. Also, something that I noticed: uh, this uh, corkscrew ball, it hasn't got too tall. Like, like it was like this tall and just got like two, three inches. But it has times three or four runners, and I'm pretty happy about that. And I just discovered right there on the back, and as you guys can see right there, that's wild fetch. I'm gonna have to take it out because I'm gonna. What I'm doing is uh, taking a whole bunch of it out and give it to the pet store, and um, and I get money for it or start credit. Also, my um, um, I forget its name. Um, freak. Never mind. I will come back to it later when I remember. Oh, it's hydrophilia. My hydrophilia B something. It's growing back. I could have just left the stem and now it's growing back pretty good. Um, also, this all a butch tree. I cut all of those leaves um, on this one as well. I cut a whole bunch of leaves because they were full of that algae and I took it out. Um, also, what I need to do next time, because I haven't done it to this plant since the day I got it, is uh, trim this, um, this script. See what else I'm going to do. 
Oye, that's another piece of that algae that I'm telling you about. It's like green slimy thing. It hasn't killed the plant because the plant's still growing pretty good. Um. So yeah, check check it out. Check it out. That's all the forty plants I got on the tank, and like this whole part, this whole half from here was completely covered, and it just went around the only part that you couldn't. They didn't have duckweed or floating plants. Was on the way of the uh, outflow of the tank. Um, another thing is, um, I don't know why, but it's not completely see-through. Um, the completely clear. It looks clean and it looks good, but it's, it doesn't look completely clean. Um, what I did the other day, I did about an eighty percent water change, and. Um, well, he it still looked the same. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm just gonna wait a couple of days uh, to check it out. Also, my um, since last time I did my video, a video because it's been a while. This uh, the um, bacopa has grown because I trimmed it and and if you check it out, I have a lot of bacopa and a lot of jungle ball too. And I usually trim it. The bacopa every other week, um, but this one I've been lazy to it and I just let it grow so I can take a lot to the uh, pet store when I, to the elephant when I go. Um, so there's new growth right there on the back. That's new growth. Um, sorry, I had something on the glass and I'm like, oh, please tell me it's not cracking. Um, also my um. My Anubias has three new leaves, and like I need to, um, to what's it called, uh, to trim the older leaves because they're getting full of algae. Another thing that I, I'm wondering is how long does it take for it to uh, to attach to the leaf? Because I had some um, cotton thread on it, and the thread completely disappeared, but it's not attached still. So I'm wondering if it will ever attach or I have to super glue it before that happens. Um, also, let me see, right here I tried to plant some duckweed and and see if it worked, but I can't see it, it probably just died. Cause, um, I wanted to see what will happen. Um, well, this is Abraham, my 75 gallon Tank. Um, thank you uh, all your views, viewers and subscribers. Um, Mr. Mom's tanks. Uh, he has really nice tanks. You, sh you should check his uh, his YouTube channel. Also, Vega Surfer and some other people. Oh yeah, before I forget, I I'm getting one great idea. Since I don't have all the water coming down from this side, what I'm gonna do right here. I want to plant some uh, some Luigia, like or some uh, stem plant right there on, in this area. Uh, so it looks a little bit fuller because this side looks empty. Or if I don't do that, what I'm gonna uh, what I'm planning on doing is uh, either get the Luigia or get another driftwood, like a really nice driftwood, and move that rock and just put it right there and toss this one or give it away. Or whatever. Um, also, um, believe it or not, I had this um, this wood at, in there since like November, attached with the uh, what's it called with the Java fern, and it hasn't attached the wood. So I'm wondering if I'm doing anything wrong. Um, well. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you, and this is one Abraham Avelar.